we're just going to pick up where we left off and um, thankfully the parts came today um, there are parts that should have been sent inside of my uh, flight controller when it was originally sent which is great we'll make some minor adjustments to this thanks to fpv unknown we'll shorten some of the wires and then plug them in a little bit more um, without the excess so that nothing is uh, exposed that might take a little bit longer but that's okay you, you want to do it right so that you don't have a short we're going to use this tool here you can find it on amazon there's a link in the description why they don't sell this on their website at beta fpv i don't know but i did some easter egg hunting and found this i was just it's the same as all others um you just pry it up you actually want to pry off the propellers while they're on the unit because um i don't know if you've seen my previous video it's really hard to take these propellers off um, when the motor is not bound. And then look, watch, as easy as one, just around, you know, just one apply. That's it. One, two, three. Try doing that when they're off. Forget about it. All right. You want to make sure you have a screwdriver that's head isn't almost stripped. And what I like about these motors is that they're not... Um, they're not taped on with the black tape, which is great. We're on version one, right? And on version, um, Pava Pico version two, they use black tape to hold the uh, motors together. Here, they're not, which is a good thing, right? Why they um, didn't include the tape, I don't know. I don't know if it was for aesthetic reasons or maybe because the um, motor cables are shorter. Hey, Fix, if you're watching, yes, I missed you yesterday. Um, that was the Avada that I was flying, and then the other one was one of the Mavic drones. Um, the Avada doesn't do well streaming. The Mavic does really well streaming. There's no putter or anything, um, just flows. The Avada, which is really weird. I'm gonna try streaming with the Avada again, except I'm gonna try streaming closer to the house. And they're, they're pretty sparse when it comes to the parts, to these little dampening balls and little bolts that just you just saw fall out. Um, they don't leave a lot of room for extra. Thankfully, I put the um, blue tape on here because I don't know which way is top and which way is bottom. So yeah, you want to mark which way is top and which way is bottom because otherwise your drone could be in reverse, if that makes any sense. But you see, now it's good to go. Just a little bit shorter. You don't want any exposure, so I'll have to cut and trim these a little bit. Only Thankfully, I only have to trim two. And then maybe I will try the clay. I um, did a continuity test. I used the multimeter and there's no current running through. You know, I tried to get as close as possible. But now you don't want to cut the wires. You want to desolder. More solder helps melt solder. So, and FPV Unknown pointed that out that um, sometimes you need to add a little more solder to the tip so that the um, experience is a little more fluid and, and the other solder will just melt. So more solder will help the other. But the question is like, how much is too much and how little is too little it's it's basically a technique you know that i'm still um grasping as you can see i guess the more you solder the more you practice the better just wanna, you want to make sure all your components are free and clear and basically out of the way so that should basically do the trick the more you know the having that extra tin on the solder got it all right, so that's it. We did it. We took FPV Unknown's advice. See, we made them shorter. So that basically so short that it was so hard to do. That was hard, man. I got to tell you. Um, and to make sure nothing is touching, because, you know, that's why I had to desolder a little bit, because my biggest fear happened. So we're going to touch the other 9 volt and the 5 volt, and hopefully there's no beep. Yep. No beep. Whoops, what was that? Oh no, it's because I touched something else. I put the lead on it. I was like, no. Yeah, no. So the 9 volt and the 5 volt aren't touching. And of course here, that's fine. There's a ground over there, which I probably could have used, but I put the one on the bottom just to keep it factory stock. And just to make sure that nothing, there's no continuity on any other parts, which is great. So you want to do that. And continuity just means that I got solder somewhere I shouldn't have and it's fucked up. And then you're gonna experience a short. And you can have a short 
for your YouTube shorts. I admire the folks that do YouTube shorts because that's an additional editing on top of your video. You got to make the video and then on top of the video, you got to do a short. And I was like, what? So anyway, yeah, that's what that reminded me of. But it is what it is. Nothing you can do about it. Forget about it. As long as you get hired to do a job, right? And you can do what you were hired to do. It shouldn't matter. Mm, nice. Very nice. <sighs> Again, check for continuity. All right, so we got one more left. All right, so now this is where this piece comes in. Thanks to FPV Unknown. This, um, this is called a smoke stopper. So basically it will let us know, aside from checking from, for continuity, um, to see, make sure your connections are not short. So you could have an ugly soldering job and there'd be no, um, you know, crossovers or anything to cause continuity. Or you could have a pretty soldering job and just, just fuck shit up because there's like a small little hair of, of solder matching somewhere, hitting someplace and then, you know, basically the unit just shorts out. But in this case, in my case, my soldering job is ugly. No continuity anywhere. But I think it's the tip, I'm telling you, because there's no way. Nope, no continuity. Just ugly. Kind of sucks, though. Because I'm not, that's not my best work. Like, I, I think it's, I, I'm going to change the, t the chip. I mean, not the chip, the tip. So now we have this, which then in turn goes into the drone, right? Oh, that's probably what it is. Oh, yeah, it's inside here. <laughs> like, where's that part? Do you know where it is? It's been there all along. That port's about to be taken. Sorry, guy. And you see, there we go. Flight controller is working, but the true test is we want to see if the lights work. Because remember, we, we, we desoldered it and soldered it correctly the way FPV Unknown said. Even though my soldering job is butchered, it's because the soldering tip is pretty much shot. Um, so always check your soldering tips beforehand. Um, that works, we've got a connection. But now, for the true test, which will be, right, connecting, let me move the solder out of the way, because you know when there's a fire, shit just blows up and solder would melt and call, I don't know, I don't want to think about what happened. The room just still smells like smoke down here and every time my wife comes down I'm like, I'm just a minute! <laughs> don't go into these are not the drones you're looking for. So there's only one way to connect it. Okay. The one end goes to the battery. See, like that. And then the other end goes to the drone. And then you have a little thing on the back. It says, so power off, no, no lights. Power on, green light. Red, normal. Blue, yellow, ready to work. So we see yellow. That means it's ready to work, but we want one amp. So one amp means we don't see a blue light, okay? So I'm gonna push the button. Green is power on, okay. So this means the drone is on. That's power on, power off, right? So, oops, you can't see. All right, so. Um, now it's on, okay? Now it's off. Now it's on, this is a one amp threshold, which is fine, which is what we want. If you see a blue light, that's two amps, which we don't want because then that's gonna send, I guess, more power through there and we would have a short. So then turn that off, okay? I'm gonna slide everything over. So, except, oh, wow, you saw that, more power ran through there. Wow, the lights, the blue uh, blue lights just went a little bit brighter. But, um, at least we know there's no short. Green is on, one amp is running through there. But the true test will be when we put the motors on, um, because the more power will run through there. Uh, and I think that's enough for this part of the video. So that's it. So now we've made it this far, which is great. Stay tuned for part three. I hope this video helped you. Remember to like and subscribe. Um, if you have any ideas for other videos, please do share them below. Um, if you have any questions or comments too, please do leave, share. 
and I'll see you all next time. That's it, guys. Until next time. Good night, sweetheart. Then it's time to go. Good night.